Hi everybody and welcome to yet another weight loss vlog. As promised, my name is Sarah and I am on a journey to lose 80 pounds. I've already lost 10. This morning I've got some delicious banana pancakes on the stove. Bunny's got something real urgent to tell you. Oh, she's doing her cute little kitty dance. So that's Bunny, um, a cat named Bunny. I know, I know, I'm so clever for that. I have to kind of divide my attention right now because I don't want to burn these pancakes and oh my God, I almost did, great. Okay, so I need my plate like ASAP. See? Ooh, that's hot. So if you're brand new here, you probably don't recognize these pancakes, but I did make them uh, just a few days ago. The recipe is really simple, it's one banana with about 126 grams of egg whites or about eight tablespoons and then 40 grams of vanilla protein powder and a heavy dash of cinnamon. It is probably the least amount of ingredients I've seen for a protein pancake recipe. The only con to it is that it requires so much protein powder. Like I've never seen a protein pancake recipe call for 40 grams. So especially if you like buy expensive protein powder, that's kind of a bummer. But they are really delicious, I promise. I wish you could smell this, it's so good. So while they're getting up to heat, I wanted to talk a little bit about my plans for today. Because I have found that when I set a goal and I put it on camera, I am like 50 times more likely to actually follow through on it, so. Today, my goal is to go to the gym with my boyfriend once he gets home from work. I don't really mind, oh wait, I can't go because, shoot, I forgot. We were looking at other gyms, so we canceled at the one we're currently at, and because we thought we were gonna go to a different one, and then we ended up changing our minds, and we think that the original one was the best one. So I don't have a gym membership right now and we can't re we can't like reinstate it for another month because it's just confusing. Like we ended up moving so we don't want to go to the gym that we signed up at, so we had to cancel it anyways, but then there's like 60 days between when you cancel and you can sign back up again. Otherwise, if we signed up now, it's going to it's going to sign us back up at the old gym which I don't live anywhere near anymore and I want to go to this other gym that's technically the same company but they operate like different gyms like y'all trust me it's even confusing me the back talk in this kitchen is just <laughs> I can't win with her okay so I'm already having to revise my first plan to go to the gym because I can't well, I could go to my apartment gym, but the thing with that is it's a lot smaller. It's a ton smaller. There's not like a huge squat rack. There's not as many equipment. I would basically just be stuck with dumbbells, which at that point, I might as well just stay home and work out at home. I'm messing up so bad. What am I doing? Ugh, so I've got to figure out what I want to do for my workout today. It's like 55, it's in the mid 50s out. So it's like chilly, but I kind of like that. Like I prefer the 50s to the 70s, which is like sunny, perfect weather. Because if I'm like moving a lot outside, I don't like to get super sweaty. So I like a little bit of coldness to cool me off. So, I don't know, maybe I will go on a walk today. Ugh, I gotta commit. Okay, um, after I'm done eating these breakfast pancakes and I digest a little bit, I will go on a walk at like 1 p.m. Deal? So, it's a new day, a new start. That day that I recorded my breakfast on, um, I ended up getting Panda Express and I just felt kind of derailed from my efforts after that, but now it's the next day and um, I don't know, just gonna keep going at it, keep trying. There's nothing else I can do, so. Before I get into breakfast, I wanna do a little fit check because I'm actually super, super, super excited about the outfit that I have on today. So I just wanna talk about it and show it off. Um, the top is from Target. It's from their all in motion like activity section. And then the shorts here are from um, H&M. And I don't know, I'm just so proud of this little piece that I've put together. 
The next thing I figure I should do since I'm trying to get back into a uh, normal rhythm of things and back into my good habits, I'm actually going to weigh myself. Now I have already had a little bit of water today to take with my pills, but I haven't had any food yet. We're at 187.2. It's not the lowest number that I've been lately. I'm not really surprised, but I'm also, I'm going to just take it as data. I'm not going to get too hung up on it. And if anything, I just know, I mean, I've already known that I need to like get a bit more serious about this. And that's probably something I'll discuss a bit later. But my issues with like feeling like I'm not totally committed, I feel like that's really showing through in the scale because I keep hovering around the same amount and I'm really not losing anything lately, which is a bummer, but we're gonna work through it. So right now I'm, oh, you can see Bunny in the background. Right now I am scrambling up some eggs and I'm just kind of thinking about like what I wanna do for my exercise today because I think I wanna do a little something daily um, with the exception of like the occasional rest day if I really, need rest completely but i'd like to get a little sweaty before my showers is the best way that i can i think incorporate a bit of a workout every day if you haven't seen my scrambled egg recipe before it's super easy you do about 20 grams of cottage cheese for every egg that you use so i did two eggs so i used 40 grams of cottage cheese and then you put in a bit of salt pepper garlic powder, onion powder, and chives. You stir that up real good, like in a little mug or something, a little cup, and then you put it on the stove with, usually I use butter, but today I used uh, avocado oil. I just wanna see how different it's gonna taste. And then you scramble it on the stove top until it's like mostly cooked and settled. And then uh, you eat it <laughs> and you enjoy it because it's delicious. I just love this kind of weather. Ooh, squirrel. So I'm back home and I just made myself the absolutely cutest bowl of protein oats. I stirred in a little bit of peanut butter powder in the oats as well with some Greek yogurt and then I got some berries on top. So I'm gonna eat this for lunch. I had so much fun doing our little fit check a few days ago, so I wanna do another. Please just humor me. This shirt is from my favorite band ever called The Strokes. I got it at Urban Outfitters. The pants I must have picked up from Goodwill, I honestly couldn't tell you what brand they are. And then my shoes are Converse, ordered online. I kind of regret what I said the other day about not taking this seriously and then promising to explain later because it is later and I'm not really sure what I was talking about. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm filming. She's in a very playful mood, so this might be difficult. Nope, down. I think that she's just acting out because I didn't cuddle with her for like an hour this morning. She didn't get as much love as usual. I think what I was talking about when I said that like, I don't, I, I forget what I said verbatim, it's earlier in the video, but I basically was like, I'm not taking this seriously or I need I need to get more seriously about this. Like not that I wasn't taking it seriously, but that I need to get more serious about it. And I think that that kind of aligns with my insecurities that I feel like I haven't really begun yet or haven't really started or like I'm still holding myself back in some way. I think that that was what I was referring to. And I would say it's getting a little better. Like I've had two days now where I was actually at my calorie goal, which is amazing, like that's great. So I'm building up some momentum, I'm getting some confidence, some foundation of following through on what I'm, what I'm trying to do here. And I mean, really that's all I can do. Like I can't make time speed up, I can't like take back what I've done wrong. I really just have to keep going every day. No matter what happens, I just have to keep putting forth my effort and being present. I, I like I said, like I can't I can't do anything more about it. I can't promise what's going to happen tomorrow. I can't take back what I've done in the past. Like that's something that I can't help, I can't worry about, I can't be too sad over because there's nothing more to be done about that. Like all I really have and all I really can focus on is today. 
I don't like feeling like I don't have power over this or like I'm falling victim to my own behaviors and my own issues. And I know that it's going to be a transition, that there has to be a bit of discomfort in this, and maybe I should have just expected more of that earlier on. I know that this is for a good reason. I know that all my efforts is going towards a good cause. It's just really difficult in this beginning stage where things feel so new again. I feel so out of practice. Plus, I don't have any progress to show yet. Like. I remember from my first weight loss journey that the first like six to eight weeks was a lot of like doubt and a lot of just, I, I had to keep my head down. Like I couldn't look at the scale too much. I couldn't worry about seeing any results in the mirror yet because there were none. And that's like probably why it's one of the reasons why it's the most difficult time because like everything feels so new. I feel so out of practice about it. I don't have any results to show for it yet. I sincerely believe that if I put down like 60 days of consistent tracking and consistent dieting and being like at, under, near, even slightly over my calorie goal, like that's going to be history that I can show myself and be like, look, like you're in this now, like you know what you're doing, clearly you know what you're doing. It can only be up from here. And of course this journey, this whole journey is going to take way longer than 60 days, but I'm just saying that I feel like my 60 day is like my period of like probably the most doubt, probably what feels like the most effort because I'm so out of practice, like I said. I think that 60 days is really just like the beginning. If I can get through that, if I can get through that amount of doubt and that amount of change, I feel like I will be set for the rest of my journey. And who knows, maybe it doesn't end up being 60 days. Maybe it's like 45 days. Maybe it's like a little bit more, a little bit less. Like stranger things have happened. I am obsessed that my scrunchie matches my workout bra. Yay. It has officially been way too long since my last workout, so I'm about to go get my sweat on. Let's get it. <laughs> Morning, everybody it is currently monday march 11th 2024 of course i am so happy to share some news that my tracking my efforts with tracking has been very consistent the last five days i tracked every day even though yesterday i had raising canes um it was my family's choice because we have family dinner every sunday and i still managed to stay relatively close to my daily goal which is really important so i'm really happy about all of that things are going a lot better overall like i said my tracking has been good the only thing that i've been really slacking on is recording which so sorry to say this but if i had to pick one or the other between recording for the vlogs or having my weight loss journey be on track if i have to pick one of course i'm gonna pick my weight loss journey over the vlog sorry if that hurts your feelings <laughs> i really haven't felt very camera ready lately I've been additionally stressed out by my job hunt. I ultimately decided to reapply to the place that I left about four months ago. There are aspects of that job that I'm coming to appreciate more since I left, but I'm not exactly like super thrilled or super excited by it because you know, I left for a reason and it is stressful work doing dispatch. I can see myself being a bit more stressed now because of that 
And also because no matter what it is, even though I'm confident that I'll be able to get my job back, I always hate job hunting and job interviews. Like it just gives me wild, wild anxiety. I've also had some personal things um, happening in my family with a family member's health. My brother is currently in the hospital. My family went over to visit him yesterday when he was still at his house. And we were just all kind of worried and concerned for him and some of his issues. And then in the middle of the night, he texted us to let us know that he was at the hospital, which is a relief in a way because then I'm not as worried about what could happen to him when he's on his own. And having worked in a hospital, I understand that like that really is at the end of the day, the safest place for someone to be for when they need care. Although it's unfortunate that he has to be there, I am I do feel a sense of relief that at least I know he's safe. And before he was admitted, we had a few days of just a lot of worry for him and a lot of concern, myself and my family, all of us, um, even his coworkers and people close to him were concerned because of some symptoms that were reappearing. At least he's in a safe place and he really is in the best place that he could be for the care that he needs. Anyways, that's just a bit of an explanation for why I haven't been able to upload as much. Um, I've kind of been having to pick my priorities with what's most important to me um, and YouTube just kind of had to take a back seat for a few days. But I am committed to this journey. I am of course committed to this channel and providing guidance, providing um, documentation of my journey and how things are going. And I still fully intend to fulfill those promises that I set. So onward and upward.